Hey everybody, this is Mr. Shell here doing another video on helping you manage your computer sort of thing, tutorial and in this one, as the title may suggest, I'm doing a, a video on helping speed up your computer you may notice that I'm using Vista as uh, the search bar and the icon and the whole interface of it but it should not be too different as uh, some locations or folders may be in different places but you can track them down quite easily by just finding the appropriate folder it's it's a very basic guide so you will not have to use any sort of expertise in it just I'll show you where it all is uh, so I'm just bringing out my security programs and my antivirus programs and this is the main th this is the first thing you have to do scan your computer for any malware, viruses, trojans whatever, it's a, it's a virus family of interference so use um, a few programs to do it because viruses do slow down your computer quite a bit and they're knowing to do that so do, if your computer is really slow for no apparent reason maybe you've got an empty hard drive you probably got a virus so do find out if you do uh, I, I recommend and use these programs um, AVG Free, Avest Antivirus, Spyware Blaster and Search and Destroy Spybot or Spybot Search and Destroy all four of these are free you can get them off the links in my video description and they work very well you may have a, already a resident program that you may have bought, you may have downloaded, use that or use or uh, download another program to accompany it so the more you scan the cleaner, not cleaner, the more thorough the scan will be and the less like you're like uh, uh, gonna, the, that program you used is gonna miss a pro, like this, your second, sorry your first program may miss a virus, your second program is less likely to miss that virus and if you've got a third program that's very likely to just pick up that virus three programs um, are not going to be wrong like one program may so get like, a few programs like I've got free uh, spyware blaster does, is not like a virus program it's just like a um, firewall and just interferes with any viruses that come into like no you can't come in here go away and so uh, I have these four they're free like I said uh, links in the website uh, if you have like some people do not like to hear this but programs like McAfee, Norton some other expensive programs like that they are quite rubbish yes you may you may be saying no 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 my Norton and my McAfee or whatever are really good they find all my viruses that they don't uh, that's in any viruses but they they are not the best programs in in the world they are really quite crap I've had experience with my note with the Norton I had Norton 360 and it was genuinely really really crap so I got rid of it and got these four programs and I've never been happier and AVG and Avest have like this um, uh, feature. Let's say, see if you can work on an icon. Uh, see, you can scan with AVG, scan with uh, Avest, Avest, and it just scans that particular folder. Norton and McAfee can't do that. So, um, I suggest, really do recommend these. Okay, getting down to speeding up. This may seem like a stupid the guide uh, but go to your documents go to your uh, pictures go to your music clean out any programs you've got there if you have uh, a line wire or something like that there's my line wire you may have a uh, quite a bit of music saved into it you may copy it copy it and then you uh, put it in another place and forget to delete it from here uh, so if you've got like two copies of two songs just delete it from here and you will save quite a lot of space with especially with music which can just lead up to up to gigs of me on save music which you don't need them got like two copies of uh, incomplete uh, the first time I discovered this I had uh, quite a lot of things uh, I don't use it now as uh, but 
you do end up with like quite a lot of music in here that's uh, like a stopped uh, downloading and just says error it can't download or something like that whatever line where it says for incomplete music and or folders or anything you download it will just have a giant list of things that you fail to download and you just delete it all you don't have to copy or anything just delete it it is it's just memory hogging uh, files that are useless so after you've uh, this is just for malign wire you do have to find your resident folder that's dedicated to saving all your stuff from well, the program you use okay so that's your documents clean out your music clean out your pictures um, just you may find stuff that like from ages ago that you have need to and have not deleted and just takes up loads of memory another uh, place that takes up memory is your programs in Vista you go to computer and uninstall and change programs up here click and there we go you got all these programs and if you may download quite a few programs and then you use them once and then you fa forget to delete them or something uh, they will all be in here so if you've got a few programs that you don't uh, use or even forgot about that you downloaded for like maybe a year or so ago then delete them if they're relative like Java here yeah, do not delete them because you'll have to uninstall them again and your Internet Explorer will not play videos and flash and stuff like like that and don't delete Adobe flash player and so on because you do need them like shock player just don't, don't avoid deleting it is just a nuisance to d install again so after you went through here and found and deleted your programs that you don't use you may free up up to or over a gig of uh, space mine currently takes up 9 gig but I always use all these programs so I, I, I keep them okay so after that go to my computer yours may probably call local drive one or local drive just drive C go to drive C and the program files and look for all your program files and see if you've got any programs like a folder dedicated to the program that you do not uh, use or even forgot even deleted uh, See, like I did, deleted PSX2, which is a PlayStation 2 emulator. You can delete, just delete that because, well, I delete that because I never even used it, I just deleted it. Like poor forwarding wizard, I deleted that. And I can just delete the folder here, like so. And there we go, that's gone now. I, it, did not save a lot of space, it was like a hundred uh, bytes, uh, even just a little less than a kilobyte. I just deleted. Uh, you don't, you probably don't even make a difference, but it it makes the tiniest difference, which counts. So you, after you've looked all through here and you've deleted the programs, which folders dedicated to programs which you know you've deleted or just deleted just before in. Uh, uninstall programs then just you will see maybe you free up a few MB or so okay after you've done that you right this is quite an um, important bit which you uh, have to concentrate on you find a run uh, you can probably type it into search here or find it in your programs I'm not sure where it is located so um, I'll probably put it in the video description when I find out. Okay, just go run, and as I type uh, typed in here already, I'll go to msconfig, which is spelled msc.